All right, welcome back to the next lesson of our tutorial series on how to use the new input system for Unity. For this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to make it so that your input action can read in multiple inputs from different devices. But before we begin, I wanna ask you to please check out our latest mobile game called Presidential Slap. As you may be aware, the US 2020 presidential election is just around the corner. And so I've created this satirical game which works for both political parties as it allows you to choose which presidential candidate you disagree with the most. You're then given the opportunity to slap that presidential candidate, which adds your total slaps to a mock poll which we've been keeping track of. Our prediction is that the presidential candidate with the most slaps by election day will lose the election. So go check it out. You can download Presidential Slap for free on both Android and iOS. We have links in the description below. Now on with the lesson. Now it's actually really easy to add additional bindings to your actions for your new input system. All you have to do is right click on the action that you want to add another binding for and then select add binding. Then all you have to do is set the binding path. And so maybe I want to add a gamepad binding. And so for jump, I'm going to select the drop down menu and then we'll back out of the keyboard device and go to gamepad. Now the gamepad device has general inputs which are universal across most gamepads and then it has more specific inputs which can be different depending on the device. And so I'm going to select Xbox controller because that's what I have plugged in and then I'll select the button A. To add a gamepad input for our move action I'm going to add another 2D vector composite and then for each option I'll select the drop down menu and then I'll use the left stick and select the corresponding option. So up will be up, down will be down, and so on. And lastly, for the sprint option, I can right click, add binding, use the drop down menu, and select left stick press. Now once you have multiple bindings for each action, there's really nothing else that you need to do. Your game will automatically detect whether you're using a keyboard or a gamepad to control your players. And the last thing that I'd recommend is that you familiarize yourself with the path drop-down menu and all the available device inputs. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video and found it to be informational, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date with all our latest videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.